Okay, I'm back at the berry bowl. Uh, the rim is just about a soft leather hard. Now what I'm going to use is this tool. It's got a really thin wire. Uh, it's a Bill Van Gilder tool. Uh, and like I said, what's nice about it, the wire is really thin so the, uh, it's easy to cut this clay without deforming it. Uh, first I'm going to take and just make a couple marks so I know where I'm going to go. Now you can divide this into four or you can divide this into six or eight, whichever. Uh, what I'm going to do is divide it into eight. Kind of by eye. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is to take and put this in, try to keep it as straight as possible, and to come back on the same. What I'm going to do is to come in on an angle, like a curl. Sometimes that happens, but that's okay. And you could actually do this a few different ways. I have another one I'm going to try. Where I'm going to cut out a uh, like a diamond shape inside, and to see what that does. That'll leave a hole once I close it. Okay, now I'll take the sponge, just lightly go over the top and the bottom. Okay, now what I'm going to do is to take, lift this piece and curve it over. see why it's got to be that wetness because if not the clay cracks and what's nice about this if you're using the right glaze the clay breaks really nice on all these edges. Now the only thing you really need to worry about is that you seat them well. That's why I wet it. And because they're both the same moisture content, they should hold without any slipping and scoring. I'm just going to take any sharp edges off. Now normally what I do, once it's a little drier, I'll take a, a, a brush and wet it and go over all these edges just so I get all the, the sharp edges off. Now I'm doing this a little fast for the video, but if you take your time, you can really get it nice and rounded. And I'll probably spend a little more time on it once I finish the main part. As you 
just slightly going to break this edge. Once this sponge gets kind of filled with slip, it actually helps to fill in the little cracks between the two pieces. And then you want to do the same thing underneath. And try not to deform the rim because remember, clay has memory. And if you move it, it will move back when you biscuit and when you fire. Like I said, when this is a little more on the drier side, I'll go over it with a brush and kind of clean up those inner edges. I should push a little more slip into it. But that's the, that's the top, and I'll be.